What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalbor. If you are new to this channel, we do all sorts of tech, gaming, and film stuff on this channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. Today, we're going to be talking about some Ryzen upgrade news. Coming up. Alright, now as we have in the past, today we're going to talk about some of the hardware that we brought in. Uh, I did talk about like the specifics of what I ordered. Today, I'm going to open everything, make sure everything is in good condition. I mean, it's brand new. I can't imagine it won't be. Uh, I definitely want to give a shout out to my boy Kurt over at Best Buy who helped me order all this stuff at the store. Everything came on time. Everything came in good condition. So I'm not really concerned about it being in, you know, broken or something. I just want to take a look at it, give an overview of the hardware and the benefits and everything. You know, you know, this stuff, You've, if you're not new, you know. If you don't know, check out the back catalog. We do this. This is what we do. Honestly, uh, I don't want to have to try to force this and try to force Windows installation all in one night and have to get this video up. So let's get this stuff opened up real quick. All right, let's get the easy stuff out of the way first. Let's crank open the RAM. I like that it's, that it's low. It's not super ridiculous, so... Pretty excited about that. I'm gonna keep it in the case here while we do the build. Next, whew, this is gonna be satisfying. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this bad boy. Is there a knife-like part? Heat sink included. And of course, it's got that little sticker. I'm gonna upgrade our sticker game on the, on the case. And this is of course an RGB fan. We've got our RGB connection right here. Holy crap, this fan. This fan's enormous. Like, it's easily twice the thickness of a usual fan. It's smaller. Most fans are 120s. This looks like it's maybe a 90. Super excited. This this thing's girthy. Copper, copper bottom, of course. Oh, never mind. There are two cables. Whoops. Dropped one, dropped one, but yeah, there are two cables. So those are going to be for the RGB. Next, let's open up, ooh, graphics. <sighs> Can I tell you guys how excited I am to have new graphics? It's been so long. Ah, oh, man, new graphics. I think the last one I bought was the 480, or the 390, and I never even talked to anybody about that. I didn't do a video on it or nothing. <sighs> oh, beefy, beefy. It feels a little heavier than my uh, 390, honestly. Let's see here. Good. Dang, that looks good. Like the carbon fibre. See that fibre right there? That's fire. I like that. Uh, I don't believe this is RGB, but I don't care. I don't care. It just needs to do its job. It really does. I just really need this stuff to do its job and fast. Can I talk about for a second the fact that they include a CD for the drivers? Uh, it's, it's 2019, fam. Like, Nobody's using a CD drive. Throw it on an SD card or a USB flash drive, like something. I mean, this is not, that's weird. That's weird, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep that warranty card just in case. You never know what might happen. We're gonna save the best for last, so we're gonna talk about the Elgato first. Now, this is something that I've been talking about, kind of debating for a long time that uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it. I didn't really see the necessary potential. Oh, dope, it's even got a low profile adapter. That's pretty sick. I gotta give it up to that. Give it up to Elgato for that, man. Considering about the small case, guys, you know? It's a nice, it's a nice tiny little, little thing. I remember back in the day when capture cards first came out, I was working at Circuit City. They were kind of like a novelty and nobody thought about it because they were trying to like capture TV and stuff and nobody cared about that really. But here we are. Comes with an HDMI cable, of course, uh, which is really nice of them and it's a pretty good length too. So it looks like a six footer, pretty solid there. And now for the PS de resistance. I'm pretty sure that I said that correctly. The X470 motherboard. Let's let's give it a quick, quick once over here. Try not to touch any of the contacts, of course. Looks good. Can we talk about how MSI is cheaping out on us a little bit? This is just a sticker. Before, it was a metal plate. It's starting to cut corners. It's starting to cut corners. I'm gonna call shenanigans on that. Call shenanigans. We got our IO plate, and again, optical. 
uh, see previous comments, I guess. Now we're gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm not gonna be doing pans of this. I'm just gonna tell you guys what's going on. Uh, obviously we have our metal reinforced primary PCI Express slot, which I really appreciate, especially with hefty cards like this one. And then we've got two more standard PCI slots, but they do look to be metal reinforced internally, which is really nice. We've got our four memory slots, really nice uh, heat sink shields. I appreciate those. I dig this kind of upgrade over the 970 gaming stuff. We've got our six SATA ports right here on the side. You've got USB 3.0. You've got your 24 pin power header. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five fan slots. Appreciate that. Uh, we've got another USB 3.0 header, so two USB 3.0 headers. I am gonna need to get a 3.0 plate for the case because it's it's one of the old half cases and it does not have that. Now we've got two, count them, two M.2 SATA slots. This one's a little bit longer, so you can get a couple different varieties in there. But the bottom one here has the shorter length availability. Regardless, you can get a couple M.2 SSDs. If you're going for looks, this is definitely a good base to start with. You have M.2s, you're gonna have a graphics card and uh, nothing else you know, sticking out from under it. Minimum, I mean, no SATAs at that point if you don't go optical. If you have no optical, you have no SATAs. So this is a clean line here. The only line you'd have coming out of either of these is maybe 3.0, USB 3.0, and your front panels and stuff like that. Otherwise, you're gonna minimize the amount of cables coming off the board, which is really, which is, it can look really, really nice. On the back here, we have PS2 port, which, I mean, I guess, thanks for us old heads. What? the okay i want to make sure i get this on camera here um, on the back right there by the hdmi port there's like a sticker uh not sure what that's from um yeah i don't know um quality control seems to have gone down over at msi quality control seems to have greatly been reduced i don't know man i don't know maybe those are just the last things to be attached and you know that was this that was the tape that was holding it in place i don't know i don't know but at least we've got it on video this is the first unboxing i'm i'm i'm, ah, I'm a little apprehensive <laughs> so we've got ps2 we've got what looks to be 2.0 usb which i guess sure 3.1s so six 3.1s there we have an hdmi for the built-in graphics model of the processor and we have the ethernet port there gigabit of course 5.1 including optical sound header super super hyped oh i see what you're saying i would expect there to be a standoff in that spot and what this is trying to say is don't do it don't put standoffs there uh-huh Okay, well that's good. That's a good thing to notice, I guess. Uh, yeah, so it would be here, and then, yeah, there, there are configurations where there's a, a spot right there, but that appears to be the board for something or the processor for something on the board. So yeah, definitely, definitely make sure to keep an eye out. You know, a lot of these new configuration boards, they're changing stuff. Make sure you keep an eye out on what you have set up, how you have things set up, so that you do not damage anything. That's I mean, that's one of those things that I mean, I'm sure I would have noticed once I went to the case, but whew. so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty hyped. I'm pretty hyped. This looks like a pretty good board. I am a little apprehensive about the kind of dirt or whatever is on these, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just chalk that up to these were the last things that were put up. Sometimes when things are stored, they they don't get necessarily the best care. So maybe this was the bottom of the bin, and it's got some you know, dirt from hands, you know, picking up other other components previously. That's what I'm gonna say it is. I don't know what it is and I'm hoping that it's nothing. Other notable features, we have a clear CMOS button, which is nice if you if you get weird stuff going on uh, or if you overclock, this is how you're gonna reset your overclock. We have, man, power requirements are getting more and more ridiculous. That is an eight plus four power header? I'm going to need to look at the manual for that. That's that's a lot of power header. I mean, I guess you've got you've got your you've got your RGB going through this and that's where we've got a we've got a line right here and that's where the line for the RGB is. But man, uh that's that's a lot of power for the board. Speaking of RGB, we have one header, two headers. Uh looks like two RGB headers. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, maybe three. This looks like one of the RGBs, but it says that it's front panel one and front panel two for the little one, so I'm not sure what that is. 
And uh, I actually take it back, it is six system fan headers because there's another one right here. But yeah, that's, that's really all I've got to say about this. Really more than anything, more than anything, I am excited. I am excited about these new graphics. Look at this back plate, I can touch anything I want. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and, ah, multiple pieces. That's a shame. Rob me of my unpeeling. Yes, good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, that Fibre, the Fibre looks even better now. Looks even better. Uh, let's get that, let's get that right there. It looks good. I like this back panel, XFX back panel. Uh, this is actually, fun fact, this is actually my second ever XFX graphics card. My first build that I ever did, which was a Pentium D build, had a xfx graphics card and i actually believe in xfx motherboard as well so pretty excited to be back into the xfx branding i'm really really liking this carbon fiber mm, looks good all right now i'm really really excited having gone through all that stuff mm, mm, super excited cannot wait cannot wait this will be the last video i edit on the old system <sighs> Man, that's just like, it feels good to say. Feels good to say. Come back next week. I'm gonna have the link underneath this if if this is post that, this is after that fact. But yeah, definitely come back next week to check out the build, the, the speed comparisons, all that stuff. <sighs> Cannot wait. See you guys in the next one.